Hi guys, it's Andrew here. Now, my friend George has asked me to do some features on some of the Marilyn books that were mentioned in my Marilyn Road bookshelf tour. So, he actually wanted information on a lot of books, so I'm going to split this down into several videos. I don't want the Marilyn to overtake all the bookishness, so I'm going to do these like once a week or once a fortnight or something like that. So, the first three books, I've done them in, I've done three together because they're three very small books. And they're Jasper Remembers Marilyn. Snippets of Marilyn Monroe by Dave Farnham and Marilyn Monroe from Birth to Death by Sean McLaughlin. Now we'll start with Jasper Remembers Marilyn Monroe. So this was put out by Jasper Tourism Board. Jasper is a, a small place in Canada. And basically the Jasper Yellowhead Museum and Archives put out this little pamphlet type book on the time Marilyn was in Jasper making River of No Return with Otto Preminger, Robert Mitchum and Rory Calhoun. And basically it's a little collection of the residents of Jasper and what they remember. There are lots of lovely photographs of Marilyn in here as well. A lot of these are very well, well known and a lot of these actually belong to the Jasper archives and they actually sell them. You can, you can get them from their website. So we've got Bev Hunter remembers working on the telephone switchboard. She had an opportunity to listen in on Marilyn and Joe DiMaggio's conversation. The movie producers came into the office to make their calls to head office. There was always a box of chocolates that came with them. Bev worked with Eve Butler and they rode down on the Devona special one time when they were filming and watched Marilyn's suitcase fall into the river 400 times. Sure made you not want to be a movie star. So it's just little remembrances of people that lived and worked on River of No Return and in the area and there's some of the photographs from the book. It's a very nice little book actually and you can order it from the archives at jaspermuseum.org um, yeah and I'll put some links in to um, be able to get that book. It is a really lovely book and I think it's a must for collectors just because it's it's nice to hear reminiscences from people who met her while she was working that aren't the stars necessarily or the cast and the crew so that is a really nice book to have now the next book is <coughs> from birth to death <coughs> by sean mclaughlin this is a self-published book basically um probably published via amazon this is the way a lot of people do it now and they're very short, little brief chapters. There's nothing new in here for people who have been a fan for a long time. It's nothing special. There are some nice images, but whether or not Sean McLaughlin got permission to use them, I don't know. I don't think there's any copyright notice for the photographs in here. Jeff said uh, first printed in paperback in 2014. There's no um, photo credits. And then they, they go on about a lot of it's about her death and what other authors have said. I would say that unless you're like me and you like to collect every book so you can tell other, other Marilyn fans whether or not it's worth having, my advice would be don't bother. I would rather spend my money to get that sent up from Canada than that from Amazon. And then there's Snippets of Marilyn Monroe by Dave Farnham. Again, this is another one of these little self-published books. Again. <coughs> you know, it's, it does put a disclaimer in it that says, while every effort has been made to ensure the information in the book is correct, human error is always a possibility. And therefore the author cannot accept responsibilities for any inaccuracies. To me that is a bit of a cop-out because, you know, it just says that you haven't done enough research. Um, most of the quotes are actual quotes she said. They're not necessarily all... Excuse me sniffling, I still got my cold. You know, things like the public scares me but people I trust is, is something she said. But I do think that if I remember rightly, there are some inaccuracies in here with regards to the quotes that some of them have been made famous from the internet that she didn't actually say. And there's some very famous ones. I'm not going to go into them now because Mary Jane Grey, Alpha Vivea, 
and the Immortal Marilyn team have done a fantastic job of doing that and all you've got to do is search for true quotes on Marilyn Monroe it's up on BuzzFeed um, the best thing about this is the picture on the cover again there's a nice timeline in it very simple you know, it goes from 1926 to 62 um, <coughs> but that's about it really again it's not a book I can honestly say I would recommend you get. I, I got it because I buy practically every volume. Um, and I will buy these um, self-published books as long as they're not over expensive. I've got quite a few of them now. Some, some are better than others. Some are downright terrible. These two fall in the midway mark. They're not brilliant, but they're not awful either. So they're not the worst. Believe me, I will be doing a video on the books of Marilyn. You do not ever want to go anywhere near at some point in the near future. So those are those three books that George wanted some further information on. Um, this one costs about £15 to get shipped. It's quite expensive, but it's got to come from Canada. But this one is the one that's worth having out of the three. If you have to choose one, go for Jasper Remembers Marilyn. I think it's beautiful. I love the reminiscences in the, this book. Okay, so that's all the three books that uh, was that's three of the books that were asked for me to comment on um, I will be doing another one of these possibly next week or the week after more likely next week because I'm on annual leave got a week off yeah um, so if you're into your Marilyn books obviously check back uh, next week because there'll be another one I will be back with another book haul fairly shortly I would imagine because yeah they're piling up again I uh, hope you're all well I'll see you soon and happy reading oh and don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. I'll see you soon, booktube. Bye.